We're given the following circuit diagram, and this is for quiz 7b. We have our R1 equaling this resistance, R2 equaling this resistance, and then our capacitor right here. We're going to look at the following circuit diagram, and we need to find the S domain transfer function, H of S. This is equal to a V naught divided by VI for our circuit. So when we look at our voltage divider, um, this formula is in the notes linked below the like button in the description. So section 3.3 and 3.4, by the way. So when we look at this, we're going to use this formula. Well, we're going to have to make our current circuit diagram look like this. To do this, we are going to combine these two values. We're going to combine our R2 and our C. We can see that our R2 and our C are in parallel with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to have 1 over our R2 plus 1 over our C. But before we write 1 over C, something we should note. C in the S domain is going to be ZC is equal to 1 over S times C. So when we write this, it's going to be 1 over 1 SC, and this is to the negative first power. And then if we rewrite this, well, we are going to have an R2 over 1 plus R2 SC. And how we got to here is, well, we just brought this on top because it's 1 over 1 over our SSC. So we brought this on top and we're basically saying, well, we're going to have this R2 multiplied by our S of C so that we can have the common denominator. So we'll have 1 plus our R2 SC over R2, then we have to flip it because of this negative 1. So this is going to be basically the resistance right here. We have this voltage across from it, and that's how we're going to use our formula. So writing this out, our V1 is basically this part right here. So it's the Vs equivalent. We want to have our V0 out front, that way we can have V0 divided by Vi. So if we have V0 here, we're going to set this equal to the Vi, and then our top resistance is what matters because on bottom is just R1 plus R2. So the resistance here is going to be equal with R0. Because if we look down here, we see that V1 and R1 down here. So the resistance over our V0 is going to be this. We found it. So we are just simply going to have R2 divided by 1 plus R2 SC. And then we need to have our R1 plus R2. So we're going to have R2 over 1 plus R2 SC plus, and then we're just going to have our R1 here. From this, what we can do is we can take all of this, and we're going to multiply it by 1 plus R2 S times C. We're also going to move our VI to the other side. So we're going to have a V0 over our VI, and this is equal to an R2 divided by R2 plus R1. And then inside of here, we are going to have R1 plus R2 S times C. And so this is our equation now. If we look at what we're given, we see that our R1 is equivalent to our R2. So with that being known, we can cancel these out. And then we can rewrite this as V0 over VI is equal to 1 divided by. And then we have, well, we're going to have a 1 here, and obviously 1 here. And then we have a 1 here when these all cancel out. So we're going to have a 1 plus 1. Well, that'll yield 2 plus R2. And then we're going to have our S times C. But we can just plug in these values. So we're going to have plus, we're going to have an S here. Our C is 0 0.4 microfarads, and micro stands for 10 to the negative 6th. And then we have our C. Or I'm sorry, we this is our C. So now we would have our R2. And our R2 is just 100 times 10 to the cubed. And so this is going to be our new equation. Now, in our answer, we just want S plus something. So what we can do is we have to get rid of, our, or we have to get our S by itself. To get our S by itself, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by the constant being multiplied by S. So we're going to have this up here and down here. And now we can plug this into a calculator. Plugging this into a calculator, we're going to get that our V0 over VI is equal to our H of S which is equal to, on top, a 25 divided by 50 plus S. Don't forget this 2 when you're plugging it into the calculator. You'll have 2 divided by all of this down here. Super important to note. So this is going to be our H of S. 
So plugging in our answer, we will have a 25, and then we will have a 50. And that's how you'd go about solving this quiz problem.